r slash ask reddit you get a billion dollars if you can start a massive argument at your family's thanksgiving dinner what's your game plan i just won a billion dollars and i don't think i'm going to share it with any of you i just won a billion million dollars and i don't think i'm going to share it with any of you once you win tell them you had to get an argument going and that you'd be evenly dividing the whole million dollars with everyone there. No one needs to know about the other 999 million dollars. And you look like a generous son. I like this one. But I would turn it a bit and say I just won a billion dollars. I will only be giving one of you 10 million dollars of it. But you all have to convince me on why you deserve it over everyone else. My mother-in-law's Thanksgiving dinner tastes better. That seems like a good way to get a turkey stuck on your head. Right where I want it. You guys are getting paid? We all get paid in the money we save from buying Christmas gifts. Easy. I just sit down and enjoy the meal. My mom will automatically take care of the rest. So Thanksgiving is the same. But I get a billion dollars? Best Thanksgiving ever. I just have to make sure my cousin and I are both there. He's vegan. I'm the black sheep. And all our relatives are extremely judgmental. That should do it. But if it takes too long I'll mention feminism. Yes oh I'm gay. Uncle Charles helped me discover that about an hour ago. The same Uncle Charles we buried last month. Talk about politics. Easiest billion dollars ever. Almost feels too easy to get the money. Instructions unclear accidentally started WW3. Grandma, why did you always favor Bob over all your other children? Growing up with you alcoholic parents was awful in so many ways for my brother and me. Let me describe them. Pull out a PowerPoint presentation. Leave fake DNA test letter on the dinner table. This is free money. My opinion on literally any book. Show a current event will do fine. The only way I can duck it up is if I stay silent. Game of Thrones didn't really come into its own until the last two episodes. Those are what elevated it. Flawless character motivations and reactions. Yeah mom so we've decided we aren't going to vaccinate our baby when he's born. And you could even say we've decided to vaccinate our son on a slower schedule. We decided to vaccinate our son at the age where he'll be able to talk and say if he really wants the shots. Because we can't make decisions for him. So, my wife and I have decided it's the perfect time to become full-time missionaries in China. We're bringing the kids too. Now, I know this sounds crazy, but, trust me, my fetin levels are crazy high. I'd say can I say prayer please? Please pray for all the naked ladies on dad's phone. May they get clothes. For the man that keeps coming to help mommy, may she get helped. Trump, am I right? Then sit in silence for the next 45 minutes of pure chaos and watch it unfold. We do not celebrate Thanksgiving over here, but I honestly just would have to invite both of my parents at once. Damn this is a lot easier as a child of divorce just bring over both my parents and wait 5 minutes. Announce I'm getting a billion dollars and I'm only sharing with my 3 favorite people. Can you guess my favorite? I just won a billion dollars and none of you get anything. Goodbye, I'm moving to literally anywhere that's away from you people. I can start two fights at one table, talk about what a dumb the president is to my dad and tell my brother and my cousin how android phones are superior to apple phones. When my husband and I were dating and he met my family the first time, I told him to steer clear of the phone topic. This mother ducker goes to my brother and two cousins, brothers, one android user the other apple die hard, and goes oh. That's a nice Samsung. Next thing I know, I hear the three men shouting about phones and see my husband walk away cracking up. Like walking away from an explosion. It's so strange when people become diehard fans of mega corporations that want nothing but their money and private data. This is my new black girlfriend. She is Muslim and is here on an asylum application. Naturally, I will be converting so we can have premarital sex. Is there a cutoff for how bad you can sin and still get into heaven if you repent near the end? Nope. Some old Caesars waited to become baptized until their literal deathbeds for this exact loophole. You good chili. Gay marriage should be legal everywhere. Video games do not inspire violence and are fun to play. Even as an adult, 
You're going to a care home when you're no longer independent. I am not qualified to be a carer. I don't want any of your material possessions when you die. Just your money. You better like my insert list of shitty collectible bullshit here. You're going to inherit it. No dad. When you die everything is going to the auction house. First we would have to have a thanksgiving dinner. Then I would pay my sister 500k to not come to it. After that all I have to do is sit back and watch. Is your sister a great neutralizer or something? Start eating before the prayers and when they insult me I'll just say well I'm an atheist. I got shit for not closing my eyes and pretending to pray while my stepbrother in law gave a prayer last thanksgiving. Which was easy mode compared to my dad doing the spectacles. Testicles. Wallet and watch motion instead of the cross. My stepsister and her family are the only ones of the five children to have any religious affiliation. But she is my mom's favorite child by far so we are all expected to toe the line. This is the ducking easiest billion ever. Right? You actually have to work pretty hard not to earn it. I'm usually the calm voice of reasoning in my family. So I'd have to buck the trend by slapping my mom. Wiping my smegma on the turkey in front of everyone and doing a powerpoint presentation of my porn browsing history. We have a bunch of 13 year olds coming over. So something about Fortnite I guess. Fortnite is shit. PUBG and Apex are worlds better. Watch the 13 year olds rage. Stand up mid dinner. And throw a rock at the window. Hey. I don't believe in our church anymore and I'm bisexual. I think my mother would physical remove me from the house. All I have to do is show up. Guaranteed argument. But it's not worth it to me to have to go through that. I wouldn't go there. Not even for a billion dollars. I've already survived decades of abuse. I don't need to go back and ask for more. You could just pop your head in what's up. Beaches. It's your favorite punching bag. And run off. OP didn't say you had to stay. Both my sisters are vegan. It should be fairly easy. I know you wanted a tofurkey this year, but I just had to get us some veal to go with it. Oh no, it expired this morning. Guess I'll throw it away. Glad I also bought 30 pounds of assorted endangered animal meats. Can you believe they were able to get a hold of some Siberian tiger? You ever eat monkey before? It's amazing. It's kind of funny. Sometimes, I almost feel sad about eating them. They have little hands, and little faces, it almost feels like murder, but you just have to remind yourself that they're only animals, they don't matter any more than a dog, or a cat, or a retard, anyway, let's dig in. Call out my mom and sister for joining MLMs, different ones, mind you, but they both claim to be adamantly against them, yet have the same this one's different, mentality for the ones they joined. Failing that, I'd just bring up LGBTQ rights in front of my beachy aunt. 9 simple words. Trudeau is the best prime minister we've ever had. I'd ask my mom to explain why she thinks white people should be allowed to say the N word. Or ask my sister's opinions on when supernatural really starts to get going. Whoa, you made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price. Bru